Rabbi Kamil. Thank you. Please welcome Rabbi Michael Beals to deliver the benediction. You already know the Yiddish word for mensch. It means a person who endeavors to consistently do the right thing. Textbook example, Joe Biden. Here's a new Yiddish word for our vocabulary as we send our favorite Delawarean to Washington, Bershert. My wife, Dr. Elisa Green, AKA Major Biden's Delaware Humane Association veterinarian, is my Bershert. Dr. Joe Biden is Joe's Bershert proving that both the president-elect and I love doctors and that we both married up. <laughs> but Bashert also means meant to be. It is indeed Bashert that you, our dear president-elect, are being inaugurated on the very week when Jews all around the world are reading from the book of Exodus about Moses is freeing us from 400 years of back-breaking Egyptian slavery at the hands of an autocratic, cruel pharaoh. In many ways, dear Joe, you are our Moses, and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris is our Aaron. Among your closer Jewish friends, together your administration will always affectionately be known as Mamala and the Mensch. <laughs> Stay safe, our dear friend. Defeat the plague of COVID-19 rebuild our crumbling infrastructure, and kickstart our sluggish economy. On the week we honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. rid us of the scourge of 400 years of institutional racism. Deal aggressively and boldly with the global climate change for the sake of our children's future. And find allies on both sides of the aisle to pass your legislation, helping us heal our rifts so with sincerity, we can declare the words of Psalm 133, behold, how good and pleasant it is when brothers and sisters dwell together in unity. And in all these mighty endeavors, invite God in to help you do the heavy lifting with you. You are never alone. You have God and you have us. So allow me to conclude my dear friend, President-elect Biden, with the same blessing I gave you six years ago when you first publicly declared me your rabbi, and I'm proud of that. <laughs> At that Jewish New Year celebration, I offered you a blessing. You enthusi enthusiastically said, yes. You lowered your head reverently. In pre-COVID fashion, I laid my hands on your forehead. And pulling from the book of the numbers, I blessed you with the following. May God bless you and keep you. May God cause his face to shine upon you and to be gracious to you. May God lift his face towards you, be gracious to you, and give you that most precious gift of all, the gift of wholeness the gift of completeness, the gift of peace, and let us all say, Amen.